Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we are going to head out to Revontuli Coast, this time on our own map, and try to get some of the rarest diamonds and rares in the game. We will be focusing very heavily on small game animals and upland birds today, which have some of the most difficult to get trophies of all time. There we go, the first uh, birds of the day are going to be some willow ptarmigan. Let's uh, wait for them to fly once again. And that is going to be three dead willow ptarmigans. Honestly, I love these little guys. Probably some of my favorite birds to hunt on Rev on Tule Coast, and to be honest, in the entire game. They are just so much fun and incredibly plentiful in the southern part of Rev on Tule Coast. And that right there is probably one of the most like tricky furs to identify, or I guess uh, plumage types, because this very often will trick me into thinking it's a red until I get a closer look at it. There we go, there is another one flying over top of us, and it is now dead. You'll love to see it. You know, the primary goal for today is really just to shoot as many of these things as we can, whether it's ptarmigan, lynx, uh, raccoon dog, literally anything we can find, uh, to try and get some rare and diamond respawns. Well, that's kind of a rarity. We've got some bean geese, or uh, not bean geese, but gray light geese just kind of chilling here. Honestly, I feel like we might need to shoot a couple of them. If they're going to give us such a perfect shot, I mean, we might as well. you love to see it. And we've got more Willow Ptarmigan over there as well. Let's swing by and grab these real quickly. 2.99 on that one and 295 on the other one. There we go. We got them flying in front of us. Let's go ahead and take that shot. That is one of them down. I think there probably should be more in the area. I know it was more than one that called. I saw a female and a male make a call, so there's definitely at least one more of them. Well, we've got a raccoon dog down range. We're going to see if we can maybe get a shot into it. It actually seems like there is a couple of them. That is a level five, in fact, so we're going to target him as it is the male in the area. We'll see if we can maybe get a shot into it. You know, these raccoon dogs are pretty tricky if you're not careful. That should be a good hit, though. We're using the 223, so I, I don't really know. This gun's not exactly known for being good, so... I, I, I guess it didn't get penetration there. Unfortunate. Maybe we even hit low. I guess we'll find out soon. I hear something. That appears to be another raccoon dog. I don't know quite what it's doing, but... There we go. There's that little raccoon dog. We're just going to... You know, that was probably not my best shooting. You know, we're really doing bad on the raccoon dogs. We're really doing bad on them. We're, we're doing decent on everything else, but definitely not the raccoon dogs, that's for sure. And you know, it's actually pretty fitting that we're doing terrible on the raccoon dogs because uh, we recently had a little bit of a mishap with a raccoon dog on stream. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and take a look at that now. It was definitely not the type of scenario I wanted to be in. I was hopping around in multiplayer with Brobra and Kill Clinton. And of course, I end up finding a level 9 raccoon dog. And with multiplayer being the way it is, I kind of went into a bit of a panic mode. I couldn't get it into an open area. I couldn't get it to slow down or stop to give me a good shot. So I opted to take the shot as it was trotting. And well... As we're about to see, that was quite a uh, quite a mistake on my part. Um, it's very much a team game. So you have a commander, Oh, right? level nine raccoon dog, what? Oh so my gosh. He's lying, he's lying. <laughs> Chad, told him, Chad told him to do it. Chad oh, told him to do it. It's, it's fleeing, he's I'm scared. Lying. It's fleeing. He's lying. It's like how someone reacts <laughs> when they win the lottery for flying sake. Because I've never seen one of these. <laughs> Well, you still have it because it's not real. Oh my gosh. You got the same thing, nice Ender. Okay, my chat's all Oh my all gosh. Lying. My chat's all Oh my gosh. Then. I got... It's fleeing. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. It keeps fleeing. Stop fleeing. Stop fleeing, you're all, please. You're all lying. You're all lying. And I'm Dude, furious right now. Absolutely furious. Bro, if you love me, you'd botch this. 
I mean, I might have to take a walking shot, so you might get your wish. Uh, I'm gonna have to run upside it. Where'd that hazel grass go? That just try to get the angle that I need. Close. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. Robert's really fine, guys. Don't worry. I'm He's fine. Super, super he promises. Fine. He he really like promises with a cherry I'm on top. Super fine. I'm very okay. Yeah. In the in, on your team, and then you've got like five man squads, and you've got squad leads who report to the commander. Yeah, so the yeah. command, so you basically like the com it's the commander's job to use tactics and devise an attack plan, um, and it's up to the squad leads to get their team to enforce it. I might have botched it. Yes, oh, it looked no. good. Okay. It looked good, but it's not losing health. It looked good. Oh, gosh, it looked good, but it's not losing health, which makes me worry. It looked good though. See, so it you looked shot good. It on the walk. I did, but it hit. It. it hit behind the shoulder. I watched it hit behind the shoulder, and it's not vital blood. Yeah, Call of Wild's so finicky with walking shots, man. I'm wondering if it's maybe spine, but I was zero to one hundred with the two forty three handgun, and it was about like seventy or eighty away. It looked good. I don't know how. It was a nine ninety seven, man. It hit. That's no good. Oh my gosh! It it was turned more on my screen. Let's pick it up. Yeah, it was turned more on my screen, but it's not turned that much here. That was almost max score too. Nine ninety seven. Oh no! There we have another raccoon dog. We also have a brown bear, but I'm not really too interested in the brown bear. We're focusing on small game today. As you guys just saw in that clip, we unfortunately made a pretty grave mistake. But to be fair, I don't think it was all our fault. I think there was a little bit of multiplayer weirdness to be had there. I don't necessarily think that was the exact angle that we ended up taking the shot at that it showed on the harvest screen. Though, that's up for debate. When I asked everybody in chat, it was like a 50-50 split of people that thought that I took the uh, exact shot that it showed and people that thought I got screwed over by multiplayer. So, I don't know at this point. I guess by the time I edit this video, I'll probably get a closer look at it. I'll be able to play it back and see. But uh, as of now, I really feel like there was some multiplayer problems happening in terms of desynchronization. And it's possible that the animal was just not in the exact pose that I thought it was in when I took that shot. There is those little raccoon dogs. Let's see if we can take the shot on them. We accidentally spooked them a little bit, so... We do have to rely on the uh, running shots once again, and as we've seen, I am not great at those, so... A little risky, but... I think we managed to get the first one pretty good. I don't know about the second one, though. Let's go ahead and pick this one up right here. That is a light brown level 4 female raccoon dog's first shot was not great. Second shot did the trick, though. Oh my gosh, there we go. A bunch more ptarmigan. Man, these things are honestly everywhere. That's one of my favorite parts of Rev on Tuli Coast is that it really feels like there's never a dull moment. There's always something to hunt and chase after. Go ahead and pick up this little guy right here. Molting 663. That's not too bad. It is a gold. You love to see it. There is another one right there. Let's see if we can get a shot into it. And it is down already. You love to see it. I actually don't know where the other one went. I know I killed at least one more, but let's grab this one while we're next to it and try to figure out where the other one is. You know, as I look around more, I actually don't think that we did kill another one. I think it was just one. I might have thought that I killed a second or maybe I'm looking in the wrong places, but I definitely don't see it around here. Let's smoke this little rabbit if we can. I do want to try and get a uh, molting rabbit. I believe that's what it's called. I think it's called molting. I'd really like to get one of those one day, so I'm trying to take down as many of them as I can. I'd also love to get a diamond, as I don't have one. So that would be another really cool thing, though I will have to kill females to get the diamonds. Uh, either way, though, we're going to be working towards rares and diamonds of all these species just by killing as much as we can. There is that little male mountain hare. This is a dark brown. I don't believe that's anything special, so let's go ahead and move on. There's a little lynx crossing the road. Let's see if we can just drop a shot into her. Ah, uh, second shot looked to be decent. Let's go ahead and claim this thing. And actually, we did get a vital hit on the first one. I did not expect that. We managed to get stomach, liver, and then right lung on the second shot. And that's, uh, 
That's a face. Well, we've got a few tarm again. It looks like one of them is booking it straight to us. This is uh, definitely going to play into our favor, which is nice. Not going to have to worry about chasing them down when they're going to go straight to us. There we go. We got him down. Uh, more shots than I would have liked, but he's still on the ground. And looks like the others went in the opposite direction. So that's a little unfortunate. And that counted as grounded. Of course it did. Why not? I think we got at least one. Uh, yeah, we did. We did get at least one. Well then, I didn't expect them to fly up there. To be honest, I thought they were long gone, but I guess they were still pretty close. There we go. Two more ptarmigan down. We have been just absolutely smoking these little guys. 672 is not bad either. Love to see those golds popping up. And another gold. Oh my gosh. That's a rarity, honestly. Getting two back-to-back -back golds. This is the one that we ended up hitting from afar. 546. Just one pellet at 80 meters. My gosh. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I swear I hear one, but I, I don't know where. I, I guess now we do know where. So let's grab that one. 528 molting. Not as impressive as some of the others, but... Another Willow Ptarmigan down. We've been getting a lot of them. We got more. Super, super close. The question is, when will they fly up? There we go. That is another Willow Ptarmigan on the ground. And I see another one over there. And then we got a Raccoon Dog as well. Uh, let's see if we can sing a shot into this Raccoon Dog. Yeah, two shots should take it down. Grab this little pheasant, a bicolor female. Nothing too crazy. Well, there's that poor decimated raccoon dog. I mean, <laughs> it's better than not getting it down, I suppose. Uh, second shot was so bad, it's not even on here. Where, where was, where was this hit? Where, where, where is it? All right, here we go. Raccoon dog on the run. Let's see if we can get this little dude. Uh, if he would come out into the open. You know, I don't think it's going to cooperate here. We might just have to take whatever shot we can get on him. There we go. Honestly, that was not a bad shot. I think we actually made a decent one that time. There it is, a light brown male, 7.12. Not quite gold, but I mean, it's a level 6, so I didn't really expect it to make gold. There we go. And that's at least one of them down. You know, it's nice to be able to hit these longer shots. There's not a lot of shotguns that are consistent at over 70 meters in Call of the Wild. It seems like the 12 gauge is definitely one of them. I've noticed things like the 16 gauge tend to struggle a little bit more at that type of range, but the 12 and the 10 seem to do quite well. We once again have a bunch of geese just chilling here. I was looking around for like a solid minute trying to figure out where I heard them, and well, it turns out that they were just chilling right here. Well, it'll die eventually. It may not die as quickly as I wanted, though. There we go. And that is another dead ptarmigan. Man, we are just racking up kills like it's nothing today. There is a couple more raccoon dogs. Let's see if we can get shots into them. And that's going to be one and a two. And they're both going down. I think since at this point we're getting pretty far into this video, what we're probably going to do is just showcase any of the solid trophies we end up getting, like golds and stuff like that. Uh, of course, I'll still show the uh, shot being taken on them, but we won't uh, bother with the claim screen unless we actually get something good. And that's primarily just to save a little bit of time so this video doesn't end up being like 25 minutes long because we're going to be killing a lot of stuff as we go. Let's get this little rabbit down before it walks too far away. And I think I saw something out of the corner of my eye as well. Yeah, it's a lynx. Just a level six, but I mean, still something we need to attempt to get down. No way. We hit that? We actually hit that. There, there's no way. Yep, we did. I did not expect that shot to connect. 
It was a very long shot and I kind of just shot through the trees, but one pellet managed to hit it. That is very lucky. Oh my gosh, there it is. What am I looking at? I was going to try and make a little trick shot and instead it, it decides to get stuck. Well then, that's not quite what you planned now, is it? Definitely not. <laughs> there we go. There's another little tarm again. See if we can get him to fly and there we go. That was a bad shot. So was that. But well, we got him on the third. Not exactly sure what I was doing on those first couple shots. No way. We hit that shot too? W what is going on? What is going on with us? We are hitting some of the most insane shots today. I, I can't believe that. Well, I'll be. There it is. We hit an 87 meter shot. We are just hitting the long shots today, like for real. There we go. Another one is going down. And that is a beautiful shot. Let's see what we got here. That is a gold scoring molting. Not bad, man. We've been getting a lot of gold ptarmigan today, which is really nice to see. I'm hoping some of these will come back as diamonds. That would be really nice if they did. And this raccoon dog right here will probably mark the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed. This has been a fun one to do. Just kind of aiming terribly on raccoon dogs and uh, shooting lots of ptarmigan and stuff. Trying to get some good response to hopefully get some insane trophies in the future. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.